they come across a negative iui they think that because after the procedure i was made to move out of the procedure room immediately the female partner has to understand all these things before the procedure and give her full cooperation if the female partner shows a movement a rapid movement or a cough or a certain things like because it's like we are going to put a speculum we are going to put a lithotomy position we are going to do this procedure it is little you have taken all the efforts from day 2 to take tablets hormone injections scan procedures everything trigger injection and we are in the last step of the process so now we are going to the 11th part of no iui no ivf xc or no iui end to end ends with success the 11th part is very important part like what is that uh, care to be taken after the iui uh, most of the female partners are still having some lack of clarity or understanding sometimes it is called as a myth also like if they come across a negative iui they think that because after the procedure i was made to move out of the procedure room immediately i was traveling i was using public transport i was going in two wheeler or a three wheeler or a bus or a train so now let's have a understanding and a clarity with some uh, important information about this iui procedure so what happens is like as i said before this vaginal orifice is a closed aperture it's not an open aperture it's a closed orifice so when we are going to introduce this iui catheter the gynecologist will be very 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 gentle because this vaginal orifice is a very sensitive portion some female partners may have some shyness they'll jerk or some female partners will not have that sensitivity they will have some sort of pain threshold so they will move for a pain or they will have some shyness or a jerk so not a jerk not a pain not a reaction not a cough nothing should happen because as we said earlier the sperm that is going to be injected into this uterus is something very 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 minimal which is not seen in the naked eyes all right is a very minute quantity So, so what is happening is if by any chance when we are introducing this iui catheter and going into the mid of the uterus and we are going to release the sperm and by during that time if the female partner shows a movement a rapid movement or a cough or a certain things like because it's like we are going to put a speculum we are going to put a lithotomy position we are going to do this procedure it is little discomfort that's all but it is very nothing to be majorly concerned the female partner has to understand all these things before the procedure and give her full cooperation this is the climax of the procedure you have taken all the efforts from day 2 to take tablets hormone injections scan procedures everything trigger injection and we are in the last step of the process this introducing the sperm is called iui intra uterine insemination so we have to be very very careful the clinician will explain everything and also the female partner should be familiar of all these things so what happens is you have now understood this iui catheter is gently introduced in the vaginal orifice by opening it is a closed aperture so they are going to negotiate so they are going to introduce little force they are going to deploy little force open the aperture aperture and go into the mid of the uterus they are going to release the sperm and very gently and slowly they will withdraw the catheter at the time of withdrawal of the catheter the orifice will go for one second completely closed or sealed now you understood after the procedure there is no chance if the procedure went on perfectly then there is no way that the introduced or injected sperm will be released outside it's very safe so even after that most of the people will ask the female partners to lie down at least for 5 to 10 minutes relax 
and then step down and move outside am i right this is happening in every centers so now you have to understand after the procedure you can do any type of activities routine activities other than very unusual strenuous activities you can use public transport you can go in two wheeler or three wheeler or a bus or a train to reach your destination or to reach your home place and you can do your daily routine activities you can resume to work nothing is going to stop you from a negative result okay so by getting a negative result don't have a myth that because of this post procedure i have not taken sufficient rest i have not taken sufficient relaxation nothing like that so we have to be very relaxed and if there is a result it will get the result if there is no result it is not something because of lack of rest or due to you are coming back to routine after the procedure okay so now we are having a clarity about the iui procedure and its other factors now let's move on to the last and the final topic of iui which is going to be the ending topic and going to be a very special topic i like you some more clarification i hope now the couples are becoming more and more positive about iui and its simplicity and its easy methodology and its reality and uh, positivity because gss ss is nothing but ic infertility in some conception and gss ic positivity pregnancy and parenthood good day